What's up, Christian community? Come on, Enforce Man. Back with another video. Today's video, I'm going to be counting down the top 10 Intamin and RMC combos, in my opinion. And these are the top two manufacturers. So when you put them together, they're awesome. And it makes the park awesome. So it's awesome. So anyways, let's get started. Number 10 is Six Flags, Great America. And they are last. There's actually 10 exact uh, Intamin RMC combos. And uh, I chose Vertical Velocity for the Intamin because... I didn't choose American Eagle, that's why. And, you know, it's an intimate impulse, so it's pretty decent. And then you have Goliath, which is a pretty bad RMC, but all RMCs are good. So it's still good, and it's wooden, too, because, you know, uh, they were going to RMC American Eagle, but then they didn't because RMC wanted to make a clone because, you know, Six Flags loves their clones. So, yeah, so uh, obviously this one's in last because both of them are really not that good coasters for the manufacturer. Number nine, we have Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, and this one's really similar. Uh, really uh, trashy RMC in the Joker. Ha 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 And, uh, you know, the vertical velocity, which got themed to Flash because, you know, we like our DC theming. And it has the inversion thingy, which I, I don't know if it's inversion or not. That's, that's a topic for later, but it's better than the normal impulse, so that's why this is ahead. I don't know if Joker's better than Goliath, but the Impulse is definitely better than the other Impulse. So that's why Six Flags Discovery Kingdom is number nine. Number eight is Six Flags Magic Mountain. This perk's awesome, but the Intamin isn't really. Uh, it's kind of stupid, even though it's a strata. And it's really just a giant spike. It's Superman Escape from Krypton. Uh, has two credits, though. I don't care what people say. Magic Mountain is 20 credits because it's two credits. And Twisted Colossus is not two credits, but it's aw it's awesome RMC great ejector and it's long because there's uh both sides which aren't the same side i really don't like the people who argue which side is better it's li really one long track come on guys but you know it's a gr great rmc definitely above average rmc and a trashy intamin so that's why it's number eight number seven is bush gardens tampa and iron guazi is one of the best rmcs but cheetah hunt is one of the not so good intamins it's kind of more like a b and m uh it's one of the Blitz coasters, but Iron Gwazi looks awesome, uh, even though it hasn't operated yet, but the testing looks awesome and everything, and it's definitely uh, quality over quantity, and the Cheat Hunt is uh, definitely quality uh, quantity over quality, so, you know, you have a great, awesome, legendary RMC, like all RMCs are, but this one's more, and uh, okay in Timmins, so that's why it's number seven. Number six is Wallaby Holland, and... It's got Goliath because we like to use overuse names, right? And Untamed. And the reason this edges out Bush Gardens Tampa is because they're both like really, they're a, both a bit above average for their manufacturer, I'd say, Goliath. Uh, man, but Untamed is a, just a bit above average. I don't think it's super elite. Like, people are kind of raving over this thing for no reason. But yeah, that's why it uh, is definitely over them. They're both uh, kind of shorter for their. Uh, type, but they're still uh, got really uh, good layouts, especially I'd say they both really shine in the layout department. Uh, the, if they execute them good is uh, questionable, but they their layout themselves definitely uh, got some power to them. Number five, Six Legs New England, and I've been here, and uh, they have Superman the Ride, which is an awesome Intamin. It was really sluggish, but the layout, I'll agree with all the people that say it, uh, it's one of the best in the world, for sure. And then Wicked Cyclone also has one of the best uh, layouts in the world for an RMC. And it was really powerful. I really wasn't expecting uh, that from this ride. So that's why it, ma it makes list Again, it's like, take a wall be Holland's, make, make the coasters a little bit uh, better. And that's uh, Six Flags in New England. So number four is Energy Landia. And Zadra is insane. And Hyperion's like... Uh, middle of the road, I'd say. Uh, Hyperion really doesn't deserve all the hype. But it's still a great intimate, intimate though. The, uh, the first half looks insane, and some of the uh, ending elements look awesome. And Zadra's just an all-around crazy ride like every RMC is, but obviously it's better than most of the other RMCs. So that's why Energy Landia is the number four. Number three is Six Flags Great Adventure, and uh, I, this was formed recently. Uh, after uh, Jersey Devil, uh, after it's going to open. So, obviously, when I went here, 
uh, that wasn't open. But, you know, you have Jersey Devil and El Toro. You also have two other Intamins, King Nika and Skull Mountain. But, obviously, no one cares about those. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but uh, one of the uh, greatest airtime machines and then another one of the greatest airtime machines with uh, some pacing. And, boom, you have a great combo. I just think that the other uh, two ahead of it just have better uh, slightly... Well, one of them definitely is a better RMC, and they have just better Intamins in general, so that's why they're going to be ahead of it. So, number two is King's Dominion going uh, here this year, and I'm super psyched for I-305 because uh, you can see right there those snappy turns and the first turn. Uh, you know, this body, uh, this coaster just tries, tries to kill you, and that's awesome. That's what coasters need to do. And same with Twisted Timbers with those three uh, sustained ejector hills. You know, I like, I love my candy apples and Twisted Timbers, de definitely that. So, I, I just feel like it's also like a really powerful RMC, just like Wicked Cyclone, but Twisted Timbers just definitely seems really unique for an RMC and very good too, so that's why Kings of Minions is number two. And number one is probably no surprise, Cedar Point. Uh, obviously, Steel Vengeance is the only RMC at the park, but for the Intamin, I'd say a lot of people would lean to Maverick or even Top Dog Dragster, but obviously I'm going for Millennium Force here. And this is easily the be uh, best combo. These are both top five coasters in the world. They're both awesome, and they're bo their strength for strength for both of them is probably pacing as well. And, you know, Millennium Force has got some intense and airtime-filled moments, and then Steel Vengeance just runs away with the airtime in its hand. So, yeah, yeah, they're both really good paced coasters. Then Millennium Force kind of splits it up with a lot of diversity, and then Steel Vengeance just focuses on the airtime after that. So, it's really hard to break uh, this uh, duo. It's r really uh, hard because, you know, Cedar Point's awesome, and their coasters are awesome. So, anyways, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Comment below what you think are the favorite, your favorite Intamin and RMC combos or 1-2 punches at a park. I might do a video for that later. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.